Well, Manchester United have announced today they're going to go to Thailand and Australia on a pre-season tour. It's the usual sort of thing that they do in, in pre-COVID times and the back to touring. But I, I do think that they're not helping the new manager, whoever that may be, whether it's Eric Ten Hag or whether it's your Pochettino or somebody that is not yet out there. If you're the new Man United manager this summer, it's the biggest summer of the club's perhaps the last decade. I know we keep saying that they've had a big summer, but it's a shortened summer this time because the Premier League starts on August the 6th because the the World Cup in, in November and December. And I think the new manager needs to come in and have a long time at, at Carrington or in Europe preparing his players. And, you know, I've been on these summer tours and, and it can be a draining experience, a lot of travelling involved, a lot of different time zones, jet lag. Preparation isn't great. I was on David Moyes' first and only summer tour. That was also to Thailand and, and Australia. So maybe that's a bad omen, but it just doesn't help the new manager get his methods across when they're constantly moving from one destination to another. So it's only this week that Louis van Gaal said that it's a bad club to manage because it's a commercial club. And two or three days later, Man United have proven exactly what Louis van Gaal said, that they're, they're looking to raise the club's commercial value, bring some money in by going to the other side of the world on the summer when the new manager has to come in, assess his squad, impose his authority, get his tactics into the players with about maybe a month to prepare for the new season. So I think it's a bad idea on Man United's point of view. I think they should, this summer they should have put the money to one side and stayed at home, prepared properly, given the new manager the perfect start, but he's off to Thailand and Australia. You could argue that Man United aren't really learning from the lessons of the past. You know, I've been on to several tours. David Moyes, Jose Mourinho, Lou Van Gaal all had their issues on summer tours. I remember being in Los Angeles with Lou Van Gaal on his first tour and Van Gaal was furious at the amount of travelling that was involved from the hotel to the stadium. He, he thought there was a complete lack of preparation time. They flew from LA to Denver, which was at altitude, and he felt that it was just a terrible way to prepare for the start of the season with players constantly on the move, constantly recovering from difficult experiences in terms of the temperature, the jet lag, the travelling. We know that football clubs these days have to do it for the commercial partners, for the sponsors. They have to be around the world. But I think because this is such a, a unique summer in Man United's recent history, that they, they, they really do need to get everything settled down and focus on this supposed reset of the club. And by doing so, by going to the Far East and Australia, they're making it difficult for the new coach. It's, it's basically taking off the training pitch for maybe two weeks. They, obviously, they will train in, in Thailand and Australia, but you ask any coach of any club, they would want to be at home where they're familiar with the facilities, familiar with the conditions, no excuses for the players. I know that in the past that players have come back from these tours complaining of tiredness, fatigue, for jet lag. It's an excuse. Don't give the players an excuse. Don't give the coach an excuse. But by taking the, the club on tour to the Thailand and, the, and Australia, Man United are straight away giving the new coach and the players a reason to fail next season because the preparation time has been hampered by the travelling. So a bad decision by the commercial team at Man United, I think. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.